guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're doing shogun 25 with an unkillable team comp now i've not come up with this um i'm not the big brains behind this one but a big shout out to tea leaf who's come up with this um and i've not seen any videos on it so i think it's a world first but you know big up to him you know it's not easy to come up with an original team comp especially when it's unkillable, figuring all those speed tuning and stuff can be really, really difficult. Um, he's also part of the L420 cluster. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, put their recruitment channel for Discord in the coins below. So if you do need a clan, you know, they've got five different um, clans that range, you know, from like early to late game. So if you're interested, please go check them out. So let's uh, roll over to Shogun. And... This is what we're rolling with. So we've got um, two man ears, and these are the ones that he uses for clan boss as well, which is great. So that means they fill two roles. Uh, then we've got Geomancer, Nullhorn, and Mithrala. We want Mithrala in the lead to make sure you know we get that extra 80 accuracy so that we land our debuffs. So let's uh, let's uh, do a run, see what happens. So Nullhorn is going to tank the boss for the entire fight. You can see he's got this um, enfeeble debuff on him and it's a protected debuff. So that's going to stick with him for the entire fight. And that means that the um, Shogun is going to basically just focus him and he's going to tank it all. Uh, the reason you want to use Nullhorn is that he puts um, an unkillable buff on himself throughout the fight. And that means that he can stay alive and he can tank it all the time. Um, of course, then we've got the man eaters, and they're just doing what a man eater would do in a clan boss team comp, and they are just going to keep the unkillable um, buff on us the entire fight, and just keep the entire squad um, alive. Um, you'll see though that we're gonna it's gonna get stripped a lot, but it doesn't matter. Mithrala will cleanse, and then the other man eater will throw it on, and we'll be fine for the whole fight. Um, you do need, I believe, around 500 accuracy to land your debuffs. So, um, yeah, and you'll see that Geomancer is going to be keeping that HP burn up for the whole fight. And um, I guess because Geomancer is strong affinity, you can probably drop it down probably to like 400, maybe 450. Um, so it's not super essential, but obviously the more accuracy you have, the better chance you can land those debuffs. Uh, Mithrala as well, she's going to be throwing out poisons and hex, and that's going to help speed up the run and will chip away at the boss. Uh, it does take about two and a half minutes to three minutes per run. So it's not really, really fast, but it's pretty decent as well. And I guess one thing that's great about this is we don't have to get other champions in or build other champions. We're using champions that we'll be using elsewhere in the game. Um, we will look at the team setup and look at the speed. Um, just like any unkillable um, team comp, speed tuning is key. You need to make sure that you just copy the speeds. I mean, there probably is some room, like wiggle room, but I'm always dubious with that. Like if if, if you're like one speed out, out, it can just mess up a run. So personally, whenever I've copied an unkillable team comp, I stick to the speeds to a T because otherwise it can just mess everything up. Uh, another thing to note as well is that, and I hate this, is that some of the champions, I think the minimum ascension you can get away also, the minimum awakening you can get away or red stars on the champion is three. If it's any less than that um, and the Shogun gets up to stacks of 20, you are going to wipe. Um, so when he gets to 20, uh, let's just see, where is it? Yeah, so here it is. So it's in it's, it's part of his passive. So the, sh uh, the Shroud, but it's just his shade stacks, which are just here. If they get to 20, um, he can go for an unkillable buff and you will get a failed run. So that's three minutes. So that's really, really good. Really, really fast. Let's uh, just check out the setup. So first off, we've got Mithrala. She's going to open up with her A2 and then she's going to use her A3 as a secondary, which is the cleansing. Geo, we are going to lock out his A2 and then prioritize those HP burns. Uh, Nullhorn is going to open up with the A1 and then um, then pr uh, provoke on the A2, and then the unkillable buff on the A3. Uh, Maneater, 
We are going to open up with Ancient Blood, which is his unkillable. Then we are going to prioritize our A2. And then secondary will be our unkillable. The slower man ER is going to open up with the A1, then focus the A2, and then focus the A3. With Thrala is going to be our fastest at 283 speed. Then we've got the uh, fastest man eater at 266. Then we've got the slow man eater at 243. And then we've got Geo at 241. And then we've got Null Horn at 132 speeds. So really, really, really slow. Um, so that's the setup. That's the speeds. And like I said, the speeds are so important. Please try to stick to them as close as possible. Let's check out the gear and mastery. So first up, we've got Mithrala, and she's in speed, perception, and one piece of protection. So the gloves, we got a really nice pair of uh, HP percentage on. Then we got a resistance piece on the chest, and then we got speed on the boots. Then we've got um, HP on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then accuracy on the banner. Total stats, we got 63k HP, um, 2.6k defense, a little bit low on the defense to be honest. I'd like that to be at least 3.3. Um, 283 speeds are so very, very fast. I reckon you could probably get away all the way down to maybe 265, maybe 270, um, but still very, very fast. And then we've got 415 resistance and 457 accuracy. We do have Brimstone on the Blessings, and to be honest, it's probably the best one for Mithrala if you're using her for PvE. Um, Masteries, very similar to what I have, um, not fully done. If I was going to have to choose a final Mastery, I would probably take Psycho or Avenge. Um, really, really good for PvE. Um, yeah, sort of very typical build. And yeah, Eagle Eye is a must for Mithrala, such a good stat to have on her. Okay, so this is Geomancer, and he's got three levels of Ascension, uh, all in Perception. Gloves, we've got Crit Damage, we've got HP on the Chest, Speed on the Boots, Defense on the Ring, Defense on the Amulet, and then Accuracy on the Banner. Tail Stats, we've got 43k HP, 2.4k Defense, 241 Speed and then 540 accuracy so like i said we could probably actually drop this a bit we've got that mithrala uh, aura but also because it's the because of the affinity as well you could definitely lower this quite a bit um he's gone for cruelty the blessing it is a really nice blessing it does help um increase the damage that we do do to bosses um by ignoring that defense so yeah really really strong really really nice uh, then Masteries, he's gone for Eagle Eye, and it does make sense um, just because <laughs> you need that kind of accuracy so we can land those debuffs. However, what I would say is that we've gone a little bit overkill, and I do think you could probably get away with getting that War Masters just to do a bit more damage to Shogun, just to help speed up the run. But otherwise, this is like a very, very standard build for Geo. And um, because he's using that unkillable technique, um, it does make sense to take Grim Resolve as well. I think it's a it's um it's a mastery that a lot of people overlook. I think so many people are used to taking um Heart of Glory, but of course we aren't always going to have full HP, so we can just squeeze out an extra five percent um damage, which is really nice. Now we've got his super fast Man Eater, and he's fully ascended, which um really helps with clan boss damage. Of course, most people uh, build their manias triple speed to reach those requirements. And to be honest, it's pretty much the only way to go. So gloves, we've got crit rate gloves. Um, then we've got um, attack percentage on the chest, speed on the boots, um, attack um, on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then attack on the banner with a quad roll in speed. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, very, very lucky there. Uh, total stats 403k um, HP. HP doesn't really matter for him. Um, 3.8k attack. That's very nice. Uh, the more attack you have, though, the more damage he does. Um, does help, but um, it is hard to. You what, the main focus has got to be the speed. So 266 speed, 100% crit rate. Very very nice. It's so hard to get that and get the speed. 
211 um, crit damage as well, which is also good. Uh, one thing I do want to say for Mania is um, for Clan Boss, you want him to have as little accuracy as possible because otherwise he can land um, other debuffs and you want to try and get poisons or other other better um, debuffs in the Clan Boss. So you want to have him as low accuracy as possible. Again, he's gone for Cruelty, and this is, again, just to help us get as much damage as we can on Clan Boss and on Shogun. Uh, Mastery is very, very standard. Um, I don't know why he's not done this. Um, personally, what I would do is get Retribution so we can get as many counterattacks on the Clan Boss uh, and potentially on Shogun as well. And yeah, the Offense Tree, again, just very, very standard all the way down into Warmasters. Then we've got his Slow Man Eater, and he's in a Toxic set. Um, and this is what a lot of people do as well. It just helps you squeeze out some more damage on the Clan Boss. And also, as well, it's going to help us on Shogun. So we've got Attack Percentage uh, Gloves on. Uh, then we've got Attack Percentage on the Chest. Speed on the Boots. Uh, attack on the Ring. Crit Damage on the Amulet. And Attack on the Banner. Um, so just to mention the gloves, some I've had to do this as well on one of my man eaters, and what it is is it's so hard to get you know crit rate or crit damage gloves with substats of speed and either crit rate or crit damage. So because it's so difficult, sometimes it's just more about focusing on speed. And to be fair, having attack percentage gloves, it will be less damage, but it's not going to be so much that it makes such a difference. So we've got 50k HP, 3.8k attack, 243 speed, only 50% uh, crit rate, and then 136 uh, crit damage. So the stats are a lot lower, but you know it doesn't make it's he's still gonna be able to help us get the job done. And it's all about the speed. The speeds are the most important thing. So for the masteries, uh for the blessing on this one, we've gone for Phantom Touch. Um, and masteries again very very similar in fact exactly the same so yeah same masteries again and last but not least we've got Nahorn with three um three level of uh, awakening um so he's in protection and crit damage and we'll talk about crit damage in a moment um so gloves we've got defense on the gloves defense on the chest uh, hp on the boots so obviously we've done that to make him nice and slow uh, HP on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then HP on the banner and with only a roll of six on it. So again, we need him to be slow and we're trying not to, you know, we're trying to get gear that doesn't have big rolls of speed on it. We've got 64k HP, uh, 3.2k defense, 132 speed. So from our fact, we've only got 33 speed, which is really hard to get. It is hard to make your champions slow because everyone loves to keep pieces of gear with substats of speed on them. Uh, 232 uh, crit damage, and he needs to have the most crit damage on the team, um, so he gets targeted by the Shogun. Um, blessings, we've not chosen anything. If I was going to choose one, it probably would be Phantom Touch, just to help do some more damage. And Masteries, we've not done any Masteries. Um, again, I'll probably just take the same as what the uh, Man Eaters have just to help us do more damage. And when we do hit the boss, you know, the Warmaster procs do help. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope this helps some of you be able to do Shogun. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash that smash, that subscribe, and I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.